Hi, I'm Brandy Milne. Wait, <laughs> this is weird. Okay. Hi, I'm Brandy Milne. Welcome to my studio. My current show is Everything I Ever Was at Corey Helfer Gallery. For this show, for this body of work, I wanted to uh, follow my subconscious basically and find things that I wanted to work on that pleased me and not go ahead and curate um, a show or a body of work that ahead of time. I basically wanted to follow my subconscious and let it tell me what it wanted to say. Basically what I have around me is what inspires me, what inspired me as a kid and some of these toys and figures that I have around I had as a kid, but most of them are new. I've got Gumby in there, Snow White, bunnies, cakes, mushrooms, Christmas trees, full of Christmas trees, Pinocchios, just all kinds of things that make me happy and help me to get into the spirit of my work and express from there. Uh, this painting is titled Madness, in parentheses, Everything That Ever Was. And it was basically, you know, uh, inspired by this little guy, this elephant here, um, that I had as a kid. As a, I remember with tiny, tiny eyes seeing this guy uh, during Christmas. It was, it's a Christmas tree ornament um, that my family had and I was obsessed and I, I wasn't allowed to play with it because it belonged to the Christmas tree and the family. Um, but as soon as I could, I stole it. And this painting is basically uh, inspired by this, which was me getting into that child's mind, um, everything that made me happy. I remember at that time being extremely happy, um, holiday season, Halloween, Christmas. Um, and this, I just wanted to explode. I just wanted to explode with all of the things that make me happy and that I can remember um, just being obsessed with as a kid, you know? And this is, this is a self-portrait right here, me as a doll, as a little kid. Um, and certain things from my childhood, like the little telephone, Fisher-Price toys, the little trains, this little puppy. E is always for Elton John, whom I love and who inspires me so much, his music. Um, and just uh, children's books and just things from my childhood that I can't get over. I just can't get over them, and that's okay. Because <laughs> here I am today painting them, and I'm, I'm overjoyed. Art, to me, is my lifeline, honestly. It's, it has been there for me since I was a little kid, and all along I've, I've had art to focus and uh, inform who I am. Even when I don't know myself or I can't put words to it, it's, it is what comes out of me, out of my subconscious and out of my imagination. And um, art, art is necessary for me. This is Banshee. This one actually I meant to do for myself. It was not gonna go in the show. As it developed and as it was my husband saw it and he was like, this can't not be in the show. This is a very, very personal piece for me. And like I said, I didn't mean for other eyes to be on it. It was just for me. And she has a special place in my heart because I can feel it. I feel her just lost and angry and sad and confused and running and nothing's making sense, but she's still going. And I was able to be completely free because it was for me. <laughs> I just did exactly what I wanted and it's, it's not pretty, it doesn't all make sense, but the focus is just her and her life and her aliveness and her spirit. It's easier for me to know the, the uh, subject, but the background was always more difficult, so I just would obsess about it too much. And over the years, I feel myself loosening up and being more free and fluid and wild with the background. Yeah, music is my, my biggest inspiration, and uh, I think that music helps my emotions move. It, it puts movement to my emotions and so while I'm doing my art I listen to a lot of music and it just flows it helps me flow and I I wish I could be a musician but I I just can't do it 
<laughs> I don't have it in me, but I do have this, so that's something. This piece is called The Humans Will Give No Love. All right, so this is basically about being unique and, and having a wild spirit and the world outside crushing you and telling you to stop and um, having obstacles, and but that spirit keeping going. My peppermint horse, wild and free and never stopping, ever. Just negative energy, negative, surrounding this peppermint horse. Um, and then eventually the, the horse will get to Emerald City, which is the, uh, well, in the movie it turns out to be a fraud, but <laughs> in this painting it is, um, it, it's the goal. The pandemic really uh, was an opportunity for, well, I was isolated completely. Um, in my studio I knew this show was coming, so I knew I had that work to do. And it just gave me that opportunity to isolate and um, focus within, within myself, within my studio, within my own life, um, not having all kinds of social things to do and events. Um, it just really, really allowed me to get into this and um, create and, and be free in my creation and in, in my expression. There's a slight theme of The Wizard of Oz. It's just things that I have been obsessed with over <laughs> my entire life. And you know, at an early age, it helped my imagination. It was so wild of a story, and visually the movie was so inspiring. It's turning over and over in my mind. I can relate to the story of Wizard of Oz. Um, just being lost, a, a lost little girl. I've felt that way in my life often, and, and I guess that might be a good reason that it's turning over and over in my mind and inspires my work so much. This piece right here, it's based on a drawing that I did like maybe 10 years ago, which was called Let Go the Ghost. It's basically about letting go of the negative, letting go of the stuff from childhood and, you know, traumatic things and the emotions and things that don't serve you, the, the thoughts and the mindset that don't serve you anymore. So let go the ghost, just let go of all those, those negative things and let yourself be light, basically. You know, in this body of work, it goes from darkness to light. And in the big piece, that's basically what it's about. I basically wanted a painting that I could go to that will always be able to hold my grief, which I have grieved a lot in my life. And this is just a place for me to come and have that be a safe place, you know, to always um, refer back to and feel and and see, remember, basically. Just remember all that stuff. Because that doesn't always, as we recover from those things, it doesn't always leave us completely. It's, it's always gonna be part of us, so uh, I might as well embrace it. The candy man brings all the candy to the candied land which is just ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous, but it, it, this one is a high, heightened, you know, happy place for me. And this is the candy man. He's bringing all the candy to the land, but in the candy is the light. So I'm, I'm talking about like darkness into light. He's bringing the light, which is lightness of spirit, joy, and all the Candyland people are coming around to get some candies, to get some light. I really need in my life to reach for the light because of my darknesses and um, just being a human, right? So this is the light. Gosh, it looks like I like Christmas more, but I think I like Halloween more, but then by Christmas, like I, I love Halloween at the time and then Christmas comes around and I like it even more. So I can't really honestly give you an answer. This is the title piece, title painting of the show, Everything I Ever Was. This is a painting of going, coming out of the darkness and into the light, and it's more on the candy man bringing the candy to the land and this big snowman being uh, love itself. And in this piece, I just wanted to be as happy as I could be, 
be where I am in my life, which is reaching for the light and coming out of some darkness, some childhood traumas and the such. And I just wanted to make myself happy and be in a land, create a land that expressed just that and, and go wild. So I am very happy with this piece. Afterward, after everything, I'm finishing it now, but after everything is said and done, I'm interpreting what my subconscious wanted to say, which is amazing and it's, it's incredible. It's a, it's a new way of doing things for me. And, um, and at the end, I know myself better. It, it informs who I am as a human being. And what I've found in the work um, is a range of human emotion. And the title, Everything I Ever Was, um, just plays into that. Just, this is who I've been in my life. I've been human. I've been um, happy. I've been sad. I've been sorrowful. I've been grieving. I've been joyful. I've been playful. And all, the, all along, I've, I've been a human. And so I, I hope that people see that in the work and I hope they feel that and, and find their own humanness in the work as they see it.